What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. So, the game plan is to head back into the Red Hall of Cages, and apparently I can get access to something called Kran's Pass, and then from Kran's Pass, I can find a secret house of splendor that loves gold and has all gold heavy armor and a really, really badass axe. We're gonna make our way there. Assuming I can actually get there. Supposedly it's like a hidden wall. Do I go? No. I think I keep going down. I like watched a, a quick like how to get there video. But the person in the video was like lost. So I, I think I'm going the right way, but it's hard to know for sure. I mean, the main thing I remember is that they just kept going down and right, and down and right. That's what I'm doing, going down and right. Right again. There we go. Alchemist. Here we go, the House of Splendor. So let me, now before I switch over, um, Iron Ones. <clears throat> I wanna see exactly what I get out of being in the Iron Ones. So I don't think there's anything that's like particularly amazing. Um, and I can get access to the Mountain Breaker is a it is a class 5 hammer but if I'm going for that's a one hander like I mean it looks cool but it also weighs 20 20 on a one hander like dude even even my obsidian pillar that's 24 this is 16 20 well I guess 20 is not that bad um, cushion level six. Oh, I can just transmute any hammer with Tree of Man's Ashes. Okay, so that's a that's a bust. Um, Iron Butterfly, which is a mediocre axe. Iron ones does not affect the ending. Resemble the uh, Iron Throne. I don't, like, I don't see a good benefit. Uh, this creed favors lightning. Is the only creed that offers shock stone and glowing shots as purchasable items. Doesn't have much to offer mages and clerics. Seems kind of just meh. Whereas if I join you, I get this goofy ass looking mask. Lily red wine. I'm an apostate. I don't know what that means. Become an apostate. What is what is this going to happen when I do this? Let's see. This just means you abandon your former creed, and those people won't deal with you at the other creed sanctuaries. Um, blah blah blah. You've left a creed and later decide you want to join them again. You can visit the. Candlelight Lady can remove sin. You can then rejoin any creed, activate any sanctuaries through your default creed. Okay, so if I do this, I now have golden face mask. I think. Nope. What was that? 
I got something that said golden mask. Red wine. Um, what do we want here? Got a merchant already. Let's do a uh, guide. Um, I need a leader. Leader. And then, oh god, these gold masks are so weird. Um, what else? Blacksmith, because I'm going to upgrade stuff. Probably a blacksmith. Get a guide. Am I done for us? Uh, well, um, I've done I've a lot of this stuff, actually. Here, I have some gold and wine. Temporarily improve attack, defense, and gold find rate. Move status ailments, restore fatigue. I want some golden wine. I got skull bat wings. Wait, we'll add to their stock. No, 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 hang on. Let me now let me let me talk to a merchant here. See if after selecting that I can just freely buy it or what happens exactly. Mask of Splendor. It's light armor. Um thought this increases gold find. This is what I want. S scaling strength. soldiers, ember skulls, I can there's a bunch of ember skulls right out of here I can go find um oh go back, gold wine, yes alright, so I'm gonna have like a whole episode probably working on these people stuff is badass splendor travel all over. Let me, uh... Oh, shit! So when I re Oh, that's awesome! So every time I rest now, I'll get some golden wine, which you can use to temporarily improve defense, attack, and gold find rate. That's... Yes. This sounds awesome. Pop some of that. Alright, this is really good. So, I'm gonna do some farming. Um. Fish your devotion. Wine lily, golden wine, cleansing cloth. Iris wine, I think, is for, for caster. Um. Yeah, restores 45 focus. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright, let me work my way towards the badass axe. I'll use that as my one-hander. Um, which, I'm not sure if this will work, but I think I can just snag it. Because I need f a class 4 heavy armor anyway. So I grab that, boop, boom. And then skip all this other crap. Theory. I don't know if that'll exactly work, but... Um, so let me see. What else do I need to give you, Gold Mask Man? Um, you want... Ground Soldiers, Ember Skulls, uh, Heart Seeker Nerves, and Leper's Ear. Where do we get that? Drowned Soldier. Drop by Ground Soldier and the Green. Uh, green is. Drowned Soldiers are the dudes near Villages of Smiles. So I need two ears. So this whole episode, we're dedicating it to these guys. And they are going to... I need to put on my... Well, let me go buy my happy gold mask. Okay. 
Gotta look like a weird, gold-loving fetish boy. Yeah, alright, there we go. I got that on already. And, uh, what else was there? Here's my ring, that's gold, okay. Alright, so, we got all that on. Ramble on, oh, you sell those, okay. Um, let's see, Drowned Soldier is near the Village of Smiles. Go there. There. Where are the soldiers? I think this way there's a bunch of soldiers. Oh god, I forgot that trap. Stupid trap. Not get my... Ah! That's the face thing I got. I think these are the guys I gotta kill. Somebody better have my shit. But I could grab that thing while I'm here. Ground peasant. Okay. So I need the soldiers in particular. Location. Village of Smiles. Sunken Keep. Down from Sunken Keep. That's a late game. Keep. This vault. Oh, I know. That's the area. Never mind. Sunken Keep's early. That's the area. Okay. I know where that's at. Down from the sanctuary after the wretch feeders and guarded by a heart seeker. So, and then the ember skulls are just those little floaty skull things in the uh, place. Heart seeker are the eyeballs and the leprous. And the Myra stench. Alright. I just need to get back to my... Stop it. Myra stench. Actually, what might be a good run... Let me, um... Might be good. It's here. From Crans Pass, I can just go up, I can kill the eyeball, and I can, let's see, I'll need, I'll get the eyeball from there, and I can get the, uh, the ember things. And I needed two eyeballs, and one ember skull. Um... So then, actually, let me travel to Red Hall, and I can summon up a thing to increase... Um... I want to use a thing? If I'm going to be farming here... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um... Salt, prayer, gold drop... Shield item find bonus. I don't really need our stone guide here, but I'll do that. Alright, All right, let's go do some farming.
So I know you pa I passed by a ton of those eyeball thing or a ton of the, the ember skulls. The eyeball guys might be a little hard to farm, but. y'all. Drop it. Pitch fire. Not need pitch fire, sir. crazy face mask that guy had. Go to the right. Treasure. Well, this might be the fastest way to kill... No, there's gotta be a faster way to kill those eyeballs. Ground soldier, heart seeker... Splendor thing. Got the bat wings, drown soldier, ember skull. That. Let's see, well, let me go down the list. Let's let's take care. We got guides all over. Sunken keep down from the sanctuary after the wretch feeders and guarded by a hiked heart seeker. So that's perfect. Let me go to the sunken keep. And I can just go down, and there should be wretch feeders and a heart seeker and then some drowned soldiers. This way or the other way? The other way. The down. the hard seeker thing. There we go. These are who I want. Somebody needs to drop me a goddamn ear. Part is getting these heart wretcher things because they uh what's annoying is the wretch feeders are dropping their stuff drop it I'm also killing a lot more of them. Is there any more of them? Am I going farther? Do I get more bad guys? Okay. No, we're just red hall cages. Damn it! 
So this is going to be the best bet, is to just pop this and, uh, and travel. I don't want to use this, but I'm going to farm. Got a... Rare gold build item. Yeah, I guess I gotta do another guide. It's all about that item farming. All right. Um. So, well, I wonder what else is. I, I need to farm. I'll need to farm for a while. So let me. I've identified my farming areas. Let me. Um, feel like I've done. I've done like nothing this episode. Let me go back to Crans Pass. Crans Pass. Grand's Pass and see what else there is to do here. I think there's like a boss here I can fight. We're cut ahead very deadly. Fuck insane. Ronin Kran. Uh, hey, friend. Um. I don't know if you're weak to this, but oh man, you hurt. Stop it. No. I wanted to put on my my good shit. I have to reapply pitch fire in a second. I could definitely win this. Though the Lily Red Ride poisoning me, that that kind of I guess everyone here just gets they get drunk on their own goodness. What is this? What are you doing? Is it like ethereal or something now? Oh god! Insane to me. Seemed like he just needed a regular old whooping. Brown's ashes. I didn't even know about this thing. Where? Is... Uh. All right. Let's see. Oh, he's an optional boss. He's weak to all elements. Uh. Ashes can be turned into a Batsuichi Suhaka, which is a uh, a broken greatsword that weighs 10. Kind of... Oh. What else do we have? Twisted Heart? It's gotta be like a stuff I'm finding. Rare upgrade thing. Treasure and Crans Pass. Yep, rare upgrade material. And Ruined Temple. Which, being at the map, looks like I should go... You guys are easy, but it looks like I should go to the Ziggurat of Dust before I go here. It says Crans Pass, and then Ziggurat of Dust. Then I can access Mal's Floating Castle, because I need a brand. Then back to Ziggurat of Dust, and then the Ruined Temple. Itchwoods, so... Uh, on that note, I mean, didn't really do much this episode. We found a uh, magical gold creed. Uh, we dunked down a boss, and I think I'm gonna spend some time just, you know, getting farmed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna farm things up, and then uh, after I am, 
nice and loaded, I'll buy that crazy axe and should have enough XP to uh, to do things as well. And I'll be golden, golden boy, which kind of fits in. I mean, well, technically, I mean, you could argue a paladin would have uh, no need of, of earthly wants. But am I really a paladin? I mean, I know we've been kind of role-playing it, but I just like the idea of a giant golden axe. That's That's where I'm at with this. Especially, especially one that supposedly has some of the best reach and everything else in the game. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to do some farming and then uh, hopefully next episode I'll have the shit I need to, to you know, get my, uh, my devotion up. So stay tuned and I'll catch you guys then.